when you're ready. Good afternoon and welcome to the Valley for the uh, Professional Development League Division 2 game. Uh, Charlton Athletic versus Cardiff City. It's Pete Finch alongside me is Keith Holland. Uh, I'll give you the team news first and foremost. Charlton's under 21, strong looking side. Uh, Nicky Pope, Joe Gomez, uh, Harry Lennon, Thomas, Terrell Thomas, Obelay, Muldoon, Jack Munns, Curtis Cumberbatch, Harry Gerrard, uh, Answer, Zach Anser and Mikhail Kennedy. On the bench for Charlton this afternoon, uh, Dylan Phillips, Harry Osborne, Cadell Daniel Brown and Hanlon, uh, uh, Brandon Hanlon, a forward. Uh, Cardiff City, line up as follows. Uh, Houghton in goal, Barnum Bob, Good afternoon, welcome Owen, to the Valley for the Amon Rain, Watkins, Roach, Charlton Southam, Valleconia, O'Sullivan and so Bell, and the substitutes are Wilson, uh, Watkins, uh, Wickham, Tutonda and Bowen. Um, Keith, welcome along. Um, Thank you, Peter. Good afternoon, last, afternoon everyone. Uh, last, week, last time out for Cardiff, they, they lost in the Under-21 Cup to Gillingham, and before that, lost 3-1 to Crewe uh, in the league. But they're, they're uh, third in the league, Charlton fifth in the PDL Professional Development League. Yeah. Um, there's the information. Oh, it's fourth, isn't it? Fourth and fifth. Let's fourth get and fourth fifth. And yes. Fifth. Yeah. So tough game for for Charlton. Yes, but uh, the season's uh, turned around. We the first couple of matches, um, the results weren't going too well for us, but we've turned things around recently, and uh, we're settled into mid table. There's ten teams in our division, and we're sitting fifth. Um, yeah. Having won four and uh, lost four. What, so can, a, what can we expect from Jason your side? Uh, good passing football. You've seen them a, fair, a bit more well, than me this season so far. Yes, well, on, these, on the pitches, the, training, the uh, pitch at the training ground and this one, obviously, at the Valley. I mean, it's, it's just like playing on a carpet. So, uh, yes, get the ball down and play it around. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, excellent. So, so. It's an so, overcast day, but uh, it's dry at the moment. Yeah. A, a small sprinkling has supported us down beneath us in the, in the West End. Lower tier, but uh, yes, everything's set fair. Oli Muldoon is uh, Charlton's captain. He's down there, shake, uh, uh, and the the captain for for uh, Cardiff City is Tommy O'Sullivan. Tell you a little bit about the the the, uh, the Cardiff side. The goalkeeper Halton, uh, Charlie Halton, is uh, USA. Is from the USA. They signed him from Peterborough. He's a big, tall lad. Uh, at the back, they've got uh, Barnum Bob, Jazzy Barnum Bob. Uh, signed him from Watford, he's a uh, right back and he, uh, sc he's made two appearances in the Capital One Cup for the first team earlier on in the season. Uh, other players to look out for uh, is uh, Maximilio Amondarian, who is a Uruguayan under 20 international. Uh, apparently a decent player, one to look out for. So uh, it should be an interesting afternoon. Uh, last time I saw Charlton play uh, Cardiff was the final a couple of seasons ago down at Cardiff when, when Charlton oh, triumphed. Yeah. Uh, glorious afternoon with the uh, Nathan Jones's last game in charge on the twenties. One's just about ready for kickoff. We haven't got the referee's name. I haven't got the referee's name at all. Someone's whispered in my ear that Cardiff have made a change to the team oh, sheets. So no, we don't know what it is. We don't know what it is. Okay, <laughs> so we've got to look, check the numbers. Game's underway here at the Valley. Ball played down the right hand side, and it's Mikhail Kennedy, I think the number 11, gets on the end of that. Good to see Joe Gomez recovered from an injury, getting a run out this afternoon. And the ball's played back to Abelay, who plays it across to Terrell Thomas. Terrell Thomas uh, normally partners, or last, has partnered uh, Joe Gomez uh, as a centre back, but uh, Gomez is playing out at right back, which is where Bob Peters likes to play him at the moment for the first team, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Ball goes out for a throw on the far side. Uh, we're told that Cardiff have, uh, have, have made a change to the starting lineup. We're, we're not too sure who that is just yet as Cardiff try and build some play on that far right hand side, and Muldoon just gets in the way and stops it. But Cardiff coming across and a, a tackle from Jack Munns missed out, and Joe Gomez is just going to ease that one back. And a little slip from Nicky Pope, and he's collected the ball nice and easy. Now Charlton will look trying to build in the midfield and uh, Cumberbatch nearly getting caught in possession. I'm not so sure that um, anyone would be too impressed with him trying his little tricks up that, that, that deep in, in front of the back four. No, no best of uh, just going to try anything, try it in the opposition half. That's it. 
And it's now Zach Anser running at the defence. Good ball nice in ball. for Kennedy. And that's a good saving change. But Anser's got it. He fires a shot on the keeper. Well saved by uh, Horton. That's a uh, danger not pass, but it is now. But Muldoon has it. Is he going to have a crack? Right footed. Easy for Charlie Horton in the end. But that's uh, some encouraging starts. A start there for Charlton. Yes, the, yeah, they're playing it, playing it around nicely, using the width of the pitch. And the ball now at the far right-hand side, as you can see. So trying to build his Tyler Roach, and he's played that back to Tommy O'Sullivan, the skipper. And uh, Macaulay Southam plays it across to Ben Watkins, and Watkins under pressure. And the ball's back with Holton quite easily. That's Kane Owen. Getting the ball under control, the left back. And uh, they're playing a dangerous game there, Cardiff, but some strong running from the number four. Uh, Deji Osilaja with the ball. And Charlton will keep an eye on him with those runs from the back. And that should go out, I think, for a throw in for, for Cardiff. Oh, right by the corner flag. Well, Cardiff, Cardiff are numbered 1 to 11, and I can't see any reason. They don't <laughs> well, seem I think to make someone's where, so just someone who hasn't started, as Oli Muldoon's just conceded to throw in, uh, challenging the number 10, uh, Tommy Alisar, the, the skipper for Cardiff. Uh, I've got no clues who the player is who's not starting, so uh, we'll try yeah. and find out. Maybe as, uh, oh. Cardiff win their first corner oh. of the game. And are you going to keep a count of these for yep. me, Keith? OK, yeah. Thank you very much. Don't forget, on Thursday night, there's no uh, 1905. Uh, it's an international break, so no show on Thursday evening, live from the Valley. But I'll be back the week after in front of the Millwall game. Ball in, and uh, Nicky Pope used his height advantage there. Yeah. Easily grabbed, picked that one out, didn't he? <laughs> Answer. Answer running at the defenders. Just checks. And uh, Cadell Daniel has the... Uh, Curtis Cumberbatch, sorry. And it's out to Terrell Thomas. Tom, Thomas quite happy to bring the ball forward. Gerard loses out, but uh, Gomez has it. If you haven't seen Gomez, uh, decent player, very decent player. Ansar does well there. Yeah. Look, he went down a little bit too easy there for the referee. Gomez Vikings. is always happy. It doesn't matter anywhere in that back line, Peter, isn't he? It doesn't matter if he's right back or being used at one of the central positions. Always so much time on the ball. Bolgaris side played in the uh, under 18 the FA Youth Cup last season and had a good run, uh, a very good yes. run, uh, which we saw quite a few of those games. We did, yes. So, uh, but some of them a little bit too old for the for the uh, for the FA Youth Cup. As the ball's out on the left-hand side, there's a lot of first-team experience out here, uh, or people are in and around the first-team squad. There's Joe Gomez, and he's done well there, but uh, loses out in the end. And uh, Anthony Bell has it. And plays it back to Osilaja. Under a bit of pressure there from Zach Anser. And that pressure caused him to lose the ball. A double A will now bring it forward. Muldoon we'll won't get too far forward, will he? He'll sort of sit in that area just in front of the back. back oh, yeah, it tends to sit in front of the back four and, uh, you know. We'll be looking for Cumberbatch to get in and support, them. and Jack Munn's yeah. a very busy player. Oh, yes, Munzee will always give 110%. Munzee signed, uh, it was, was with Tottenham, and uh, Terrell Thomas goes in and could be been caught out of position, and Muldoon having to come back and cover that, uh, to cover for Terrell Thomas as he went across to deal with that threat down the right-hand side. Nil-nil. And Ch Charlton have looked the, mo the more dangerous going forward. This is the first time really Cardiff have got forward properly. I mean, they've had the corner, but... Yes, uh, there's no, I look at the Cardiff uh, team list here and there's no names that actually come out and hit mm. me as uh, first teamers. But no. uh, I suppose a few of them have been on the bench. Yeah, as we said, a couple of them have got Capital One Cup experience, which isn't unusual. Right. As uh, Jack Munns cleans things up and Charlton can break away. And Cumberbatch is free on this right-hand side. I don't He's got the ball now, he comes back inside and he pings it out towards Zach Anser. But that's dealt with quite well by uh, Amanda Rain, the uh, Uruguayan under 20 international. He looks a big lad. It's uh, Barnum Bob down the right hand side. And Terrell Thomas just steps in and deals with that. Giving Harry Lennon a bit of assistance there. And Harry Gerard 
plays it inside to Zach Anser. Kennedy was in an offside position and Anser held onto the ball. Cumberbatch being challenged, did well there. Some good football, passing football from Charlton on this left hand side. It's uh, Curtis Cumberbatch who seems to be involved in everything at the moment. Jack Munns. Very good. Oh, that's a good ball into Zach Anser. Oh. And Gerard fires a shot. Oh, and that's the yes. first goal. What a superb goal. And that was some good football there from Charlton, wasn't it? It was, yes. A lo lovely build up. Seven minutes. Seven minutes gone, and the first goal of the game. Played it around nicely. Very patient build up. Uh, all, all played to feet. Nicely done. Nice triangles uh, worked. And f f from a very tight angle, that finish. It was. It, was a, it had a lot of work to do. Just watching it again, the ball out to the left hand side. Uh, Anser challenged it, headed it back, and Cardiff tried to get it clear. And yeah, it's uh, a good move. Some good flowing football from Charlton down that left hand side. And uh, they may have probed a weakness there, possibly. We'll find out. Barn and Bob out there on the right. And uh, that's a good start for Charlton. 1 0 here at the Valley. Charlton 1, Cardiff City 0. Game resumes. And now the keeper, Charlie Holton, rushes over. Trying to get the team back into the game. Uh, pretty poor start for Cardiff, really, to concede a goal in the first seven minutes of the game. But, uh, yeah, Jack Munns and uh, Jack Munns fed Zach Hanson and Harry Gerrard opened the score, and that's well controlled by the... Uh, Valino, Veliconja, Veliconja. I'll get the spelling, the, the pronunciation right. Better um, effort than I could make, Peter. Well done. So <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's something you have to do, isn't it? Really. Uh, we're trying to find some information about Veliconja. Uh, that's what we're going with, Veliconja. I think. Yeah. Uh, that's good. <laughs> Sounds sound decent, doesn't it? Uh, I don't think anyone's oh. going to pull me up on that one. It's Curtis Cumberbatch. Place the ball to Jack Munns, very straight, easy balls. Charlton are playing simple balls, but that one was a bit careless, and Gerard had to do well there. And Terrell Thomas will play it all the way back to uh, Nicky Pope. I uh, wonder if we'll see Nicky Pope go on loan at some stage. Um, he probably needs a bit of uh, first team football somewhere, doesn't he, really? True, yes. But he's but number two here to, to Stephen exactly, Henderson. Yes, that's that's the thing. Yeah. Good ball out. Wide ball out to Joe Gomez, who controls it. It's a sign of a good player, is it? They look very cool under, under pressure, and, and they just seem to have time on the ball. And yeah, Gomez is one Cardiff of those players. Quite Cardiff seems to be quite happy just to sit back and let us play it around. Um, it's on the halfway line, at least. Muldoon, run from Kennedy. That's a Goal. good little run, and I he like nearly him. got in the back there, and, and Kane Owen had to stick his right foot out and get that back to Charlie Holton. As I think the rain started in front of us. You can hear the rain on the stand yeah. above us here in the yeah. west. Yes, there's a bit of blue sky above, so hopefully it won't be too, too heavy. Not like Saturday, Peter, monsoon time. Monsoon time up at Reading. The, the first team getting a, a well-deserved uh, win against Reading, a battling performance uh, at Reading. So there's a free kick. We'll see what uh, what happens from this. Uh, what Cardiff will want to get back into the game as quickly as possible. That goal, losing that goal in the seventh minute, Harry Gerrard did well there. So, free kick from Cardiff. They're all lined up on the edge of the area. Good ball in, and uh, Obele heads that clear. Jack Munz will close the ball down, but the centre back Osilaja was the first to that one. And uh, Barn and Bob will play that back to the keeper, uh, Charlie Holton, the American. And that's out to the right-hand side. And Cardiff will try to build again, but they're being pressurised from Charlton from the fo from the f forwards. Ooh, and that's a steaming challenge. And Harry Gerrard, the goal scorer, is on the, on, the, on the deck. And you could hear that one. That was a loud old that's challenge. That's, uh, Mr Watkins there. Gerard seems fine after that. Good yeah, I think I'd want to stay down and recover yeah. after one like that. Referee not happy. Want the ball to go back a little bit. And 
Cumberbatch making life difficult. Has Cardiff come away with the ball? He's gone down a little bit too easy there. Mardoon and the referee was on top of it. And he plays that into Harry Gerrard, the scorer. Of LA. Good ball. Oh. Looking for Mikel Kennedy. A little bit too much on it's it in the end. A bit heavy. But still good. Yeah. The idea good was vision. there. Yeah, it was. Yes, yes. Trying to play, I mean, at time after time, and you, s you see centre backs will normally launch, will, will, will be quite happy to launch a ball, but these, yeah. they, he looks keen to try and um, try and uh, get the ball, play the ball on the feet there, to the feet. He was released, he was the uh, player that was released by Sheffield Wednesday, wasn't he? Yeah. Picked up, yes. It's a, a good, uh, good addition to the squad. Well, I've looked up Etienne Vel Velikonia, the, oh, yeah. uh, he's a forward, uh, okay. he's Slovenian. Oh, yeah. As ball into Gerard, Gerard and that's oh. snuffed out by Oshilaja, who comes away with the ball, and he's more than happy to get forward. Look, he continues his run, yeah, yeah. and uh, looking for him now. And Avalay has got to chase him down. Good ball in, oh, and that was a great oh, chance. That should have been better. That should have been, been on a, target. Should have been on target. That should have been the equaliser for Cardiff. But that was a, a surging run from Deji Oshilaja, uh, who picked the ball up in his own half and uh, got play, played it through and continued his run. And muscled his way past uh, Obele, got the ball in. And I think it was the uh, Tommy O'Sullivan who put that one over the bar. Uh, Etienne yeah. Velikonia, Slovenian, yeah. forward. Uh, he's played for Maribor, Gorica, and he's 25. Uh, he joined Cardiff in 2012. He's been out on loan in Rio Alvi. He's uh, made three appearances for the Cardiff first team. And, uh, in Maribor, he scored 20 goals in 48, and at Gorica. 104 games, 32 goals. So, oh, uh, so he's not a novice. He's not a novice. He's uh, a decent player. Uh, an enormous talent is the uh, is what uh, what he was touted as. As Cardiff, a threatened Charlton now with that chance, and it was a glorious chance. Ball in and. Uh, Leonica is not happy. He was looking for um, Anthony Bell to do a bit more. And uh, looks a bit frustrated. But Charlton have the ball with Terrell Thomas, who's, as I said, uh, for a lot of the season, a lot, a lot of la last couple of years, has had a defensive partnership with Joe Gomez. And, and Terrell yeah. Thomas has been in the Charlton first team squad on a few occasions. Yes, he has. Yes, made the bench unused, but uh, good experience. Yep. Obele plays it back to Nicky Pope. Uh, the rain seems to have stopped from where I'm sitting. <laughs> Obele looks up and he plays that long, and that's easy uh, for the goalkeeper, Charlie Holton. Well, very wasted ball. There was no one there. Right footed ball, and Terrell Thomas deals with that calmly. He's challenged, but uh, had plenty of time. Jack Munns. Well, like Jack Munns, another player who's been involved with the first team squad uh, as, as an unused substitute, and he's, he's been in and around the squad for the last uh, since the start of the season. Yes, yes. And uh, only a matter of time, I would think, until he gets his chance. Good player, him. decent yeah. player. Oh, he was yes. at Tottenham for Very quite a while. Very wholehearted. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, makes up for his lack of inches. Yeah. I don't think height. I don't make a big fuss about height, but uh, it doesn't always matter, does it? Mm. If you're playing it's good real. football. Yeah, true. It's a bit of head tennis over on the far side, and Charlton get a throw. I'm still amazed by that miss, to be honest, <laughs> from uh, from Cardiff. I mean, it should have been easier to score, wouldn't it? I would have thought so. He was under pressure. There was a Charlton player right at, uh, very close, possibly yeah. <laughs> very close to him. So uh, put him off. Throw taken on that far side. Harry Lennon, who's been out on loan himself. Yeah, Cambridge United. He didn't uh, didn't have a great time up at the no. uh, Abbey Stadium. No, it, uh, he got on a few times, but it, uh, mostly he, he was named as a substitute. He'll be needed as cover now with Royce uh, Wiggins injured and uh, Morgan Fox making a, a good having a good putting a good performance. And there's a long, heavy challenge. Joe Gomez. I think it's a fair change. Both players yes. went for the ball, and uh, Kane Owen. I think he's injured his groin slightly, but he, he seems to be okay. He's just on his haunches now. He should be all right. Doesn't need the physio. And it was just a fair challenge by Gomez. And yes, going back to Lennon, as you said, um, he's 
Um, he's got the experience. He's played in the uh, Charlton he's first Yeah, team. last season especially. Last season, and I'm pretty sure he played it uh, in Wiggins position. Played yep, at, he's uh, played at left, left back. back. Uh, Huddersfield was That's one of right. the games. Yes. When he so, made his debut. Uh, Yes, it's an another name we can use there. Another player that's comfortable in more than one position. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a good thing about these young players that, that they're quite happy to play. I mean, they're, they're keen to play. This yeah. Cardiff deal with a long ball for Mobile. He quite, I know, he plays a long ball in retaliation. And he plays that up towards O'Sullivan, the skipper. Well dealt with Ter Terrell Thomas, and oh. Muldoon's lost the ball. And uh, Jack Munns tries. Oh, oh, there's a heavy change from Jack Munns, and there's a shot fired in from. Uh, Veli Konya and the referee he's might. It back, I, think. Has he, no, has he, I no. don't know. Is he going to have a chat with Jack Munns? Jack Munns is walking away from the scene of the crime, and the referee's I'm over the point. Surprised by that. Actually. Um, I'm surprised yeah. he didn't bring it back as the, as the advantage didn't work out. Uh, Physio's coming on now. Yes. And uh, that was a heavy challenge. Wholehearted challenge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the referee is he's happy with it, I think, because he's yes. not talking to Jack Munns, who's right. who's disappeared. <laughs> And as uh, Anthony Bell gets some treatment. Right, so while the trainer's on. Um, yeah. Charlton now, this is part of the professional development under 21 league. Yep. Uh, we're split into two regional divisions. Teams will play each other in their own division twice and each team in the other division once. That's yeah. a total of 26 games, oh, 27 games each for the Southern Division teams. Yeah. At the end of the season, the teams finishing the top two positions of both divisions Sorry, the, the top two positions of both divisions will meet in a knockout stage to determine the overall league champion. Which is what so which Charlton won two seasons ago, beating Cardiff in the final at, yes. uh, at, uh, in Cardiff. As uh, with players resumed, and the injured player, Anthony Bell, is on the pitch. Back on Tom Yellowsullivan, plays it back to Kane Owen. Owen goes, that's a dangerous ball, lateral ball, as Bob Peters calls him. And uh, puts his defender on the far side, Barn and Bob, under a bit of pressure, who's being chased down by... Uh, Mikhail Kennedy as the rain lashes down again there's a poor kick from the USA keeper and Jack Munns has got that and Charlton can build Cumberbatch is in space and uh, Zach Anser has it Anser and that's a a chip ball a little bit too much on that from Zach could see what he was doing and uh, Barn and Bob is able to shield that out for a throw in <coughs> one nil here still Harry Gerrard in the seventh minute. Uh, Cardiff have had a chance, but uh, hooked over the bar uh, when uh, the central defender, uh, Osilaja, went on a rampaging run. And uh, Cardiff missed their chance to get an equaliser. As Cumberbatch loses out in the air to Osilaja. And there's a strong challenge, and the referee will have a word now, and I think it's uh, Cumberbatch Dutch, yes. in a bit of trouble. Yeah, it's a little bit late. He's going to have a chat with him. Yeah. Was he late? Yeah, just it's just a little bit. That's a not really intentional, but... If you're not doing anything on uh, in November, end of no towards the end of November, I'll give you the date. The if you, A couple of weeks ago, we, we uh, broadcast the game live from Welling, uh, the Under-21 Cup. Uh, versus Wimbledon. Well, the uh, next round is on Wednesday, the 26th of November at 7 p.m. kickoff at Welling United against Brighton. As uh, Kane Owen takes that out to the right hand side, easily dealt with by Lennon and Jack Munns, under a little bit of pressure, gets it forward to Gerard, the goal scorer. Gerard, the goal scorer, plays the ball out to nice. Gomez, and Gomez will come down the ride. Zach Hanser makes a run, and there's a good challenge from Anthony Bell. Did enough to put Joe Gomez off, okay. but Kane Owen puts that out for a throw in. So, yes, uh, on the uh, 26th of November, Wednesday, 26th of November, Welling United, uh, 7 p.m. kickoff for the Under-21 Cup tie against Brighton and Hove Albion. They beat Wilmington 4-0 on the last round, Charlton. As, uh, Gomez has the ball. Gomez tries to get around his man. That's and that's gone out for a goal kick, I think. Yep. So that Under-21 Cup, it was a uh, game of two halves there. First half, I thought it was fair. That, that game at uh, Welling... It was nil nil, I think, at half time. And it's all, most of the goals came in the second half. Yeah, I, I missed out that night, unfortunately, Peter. Charlton was played really well so in that second uh -huh. half in that game. As uh, Cumberbatch has it, Cumberbatch playing that central midfield position and exchanges passes with Zach Anser, son of Andy Anser, who was uh, on the books here at Charlton and went on to have a, a decent career. Specifically, I think, mainly at uh, South End United, where he made his name. Ball from yes. Kano, and that's a. Fairly firmly hit ball straight through to Nicky Pope, who can deal with that easily. 
And it's out to Gomez. Hits it first time into Cumberbatch. And uh, Muldoon playing quite deep as he will do. Munns has it, Jack Munns. Skillful little player, good little player. And the referee gets a, a little bit of a deflection there. Muldoon has to nip in just before uh, Tommy O'Sullivan got on the ball. But Terrell Thomas has it, brings it forward. And goes back to Muldoon, who's dropped into his position when Thomas went forward. That's a great good ball out to Gomez, who tried to control it with his chest. Didn't yeah. quite control it, didn't get it under control fully. And Anthony Bell was able to nip in and put that out. Yeah, uh, Gomez playing right back, but always looking to get forward. He likes to get down to uh, down the wing. And yep. uh, that's just himself as a right wing. <laughs> <laughs> Gomez has that throw, taking that throw. He's got answer, answer and uh, the goal scorer, Gerard, close by, but it goes through to the goalkeeper, Charlie Halton. As I said, under 21, uh, a USA keeper, signed from Peterborough United. As they try and make advances, Tyler Roach on that far right hand side. Uh, Bridge end born lad. Reasonably local, just down the road from Cardiff, down the M4, at three or four junctions. My knowledge of the, oh, the, the, the M4 is, is pretty there. decent. Uh -huh. there, yeah, yeah okay. got a family there, so. Oh, right. <laughs> and it's a free kick on the halfway football line. Team share with the rugby club, don't they? Uh, uh, Bridge uh, end. I don't think I watched the football in the Bridge what end. I remember. And that's Kane Owen. Kane Owen, under pressure from Cumberbatch, plays it back to uh, the defender, Oshelaja. They know, oh, well and tried. Harry Gerrard's done well. He's robbed Southam. He chases on the keeper, oh. and the keeper spread himself well. Zach Enser gets the shot, and then that's oh. cleared off the line. And Charlton had a couple of chances there to extend their lead. Yes, that was, it was well played, Charlton, well pl but uh, well defended Cardiff. Yep, they, uh, they got themselves into a bit of trouble, but uh, uh, first of all, Gerrard with the shot, and yeah. Zach Enser. Coming okay, close, Muldoon. Yeah, going to deliver this in. It's a bit too much on that one, but that. Uh, yeah, two chances we had. The keeper blocked the first one, and then that was uh, well cleared off the line by a um, Cardiff defender. Run well, through the Charlton team again: Nick Pope, Joe Gomez, Harry Lennon, Oliver Muldoon, Ayo Abilay, Terrell Thomas, Jack Munns, Curtis Cumberbatch, Zach Anser, Harry Gerrard, and Mikhail Kennedy. It is the Charlton starting eleven? Uh, quite a lot of first team experience in there now. Uh, quite a few. Uh, Joe Gomez is the one, obviously, who's been playing uh, up until his recent injuries. Good to see him back, whether or not he plays the full 90. Be interesting to see as the keeper, Charlie Halton, takes that long and Muldoon wins the header. Cumberbatch. Good little combination, Cumberbatch and Munns, as Munns slips and Harry Lennon can advance down the left-hand side yeah. and he takes on Barnum Bob. He's got past him, he's going to get across and that looks like a corner to me. Yeah. Another impressive run, that time from the left back, Lennon. Yeah. We're looking strong down both flanks, Peter. Yes, we are. We are. Uh, and, and, and that's yeah. good to see as uh, the ball comes out to Jack Munns. Over on that far side in front of the scoreboard, which is switched off, other than two little white dots. Ball swung in and the keeper will have that one quite easily. Bit too close to the keeper, that one. And he clears it quickly and he's looking for the run of Tyler Roach and uh, Cumberbatch was alive to that. And he, good ball, well, good work there. He still had work to do once he got the ball and uh, played it cut easy back to Joe Gomez who stayed back. And Muldoon playing very deep. Exchanges passes with Jack Munns. Muldoon the skipper for Charlton this afternoon. A lot of experience with the under-21s, and he's going to look to play that out to Ovalay. Ovalay, right-footed down the line for Mikel Kennedy to chase after. It's dealt with by Kane Owen, but Cumberbatch has it. Nice layoff from Cumberbatch for Gerard. Jack Munns now under a bit of pressure. That uh, does well. And Zach Henson, this is good football from Charlton. Uh, Munns, Gerard, the goal scorer. Gerard going to go out wide to Joe Gomez. Gomez tees it up, right-footed, and that's taken a bit of deflection, and the keeper, a nice loud shout from Charlie Hilton. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, deflection took the pace off the ball, so it was comfortable for the keeper. And no challenge on Obelay. He had time and had time to control that. Jack Munch chips the ball through for Kennedy, but uh, Ozzy Larger snaps out the danger with the header, and Kane Owen will look to clear this long. And uh, nice cool header from Obelay. And Charlton can. I think Charlton look the more dangerous of the two, don't they? They've got the goal, and they they've do. had the chance to get the second goal. 
Uh, didn't take it, but uh, other than that, but, chance. Uh, yeah, but Cardiff, I think, looked dangerous. And they looked pretty strong when they break out. Mikhail so Kennedy, Kennedy, oh, his first touch yeah. was uh, a little bit heavy, and he's uh, pushed over Kane Owen once he lost the ball. And uh, it's a free kick, which uh, I think the keeper, Charlie Horton, will take. Still 1 0, the goal from Harry Gerrard. And Harry Gerrard, a nice, well worked goal down the left hand side involving Zach Hanser. And, and uh, well put away by Gerrard. Yeah. And Charlton have had a chance since then. To, and uh, as Cardiff have had a chance to equalise, which they didn't take, well, this man, Ozil Larger, went on a storming run. Uh, Amanda Ryan plays it out to uh, Barnum Bob. Barnum Bob to Tyler Roach. Exchanging passes and Charlton trying to not let them settle and Terrell Thomas battling well with uh, Macaulay Southam and Charlton come away with the ball Muldoon that's an early ball from Muldoon looking for Kennedy to get onto it and Ashley Larger does well to evade but Kennedy's still there and Kennedy's done well there and he could have got free kick but no Jack Munns has it Jack Munns comes inside looking around and uh, but uh, Cardiff do well to recover and get the ball away, but uh, some yeah, and Kennedy was unlucky there. I mean, he, he, he didn't ne never uh, really gave up the ghost there. He kept niggling away at and the, he got uh, the ball. defender. He got the ball. Yes. Kane Owen looks up, and that's uh, well run by Zach Hanser, doing doing some defensive work. Got his foot in the way, and he put that out for a throw in. And the referee is an injury to the uh, Obelay. I think that was in the change on the far side. When he got caught with, uh, when he tried to get away from uh, Mikhail Kennedy and Kennedy snapped back at him, I think Kennedy might have just nipped him. You can see lots of chat on the YouTube, uh, <laughs> on the YouTube message board about the Millwall game. <laughs> oh. That's the next action here at the Valley in uh, a week on Saturday. Home, the first team home to Mill Millwall. You can hear that on Match Day Live, of course. And before that, on the Thursday night before the game, 1905 will be back with uh, Ollie Groom and guests in the studio. Um, watch that for a preview of the Millwall game. As the players take the opportunity, well, the treatment for um, Ob for uh, treatment for Ozzy Larger to, to have a drink. And uh, Jason Neal talking to the players down there, he'll be reasonably pleased with how they started yes. and that the fact that they're creating chances. They are, yes, right, with a steady build up. Confident, they look confident on the ball. Happy to uh, take the time passing it around. Steadily build up the move. So, back on the pitch now. Uh, yes, the play looks all right. It looks okay, he's trotting over, as you can see. And the, the game will resume now when everyone's had a drink. Very overcast day here, and uh, it's going to be a throw which um, Kane Owen will take. Stocky little left back. He's got a few, not too many options in front of him. No one seems to want it. Tommy yeah. O'Sullivan's dropping, sh coming towards him now. And it is O'Sullivan, the skipper who's. Play a one-two with Owen, and O'Sullivan will try and launch something from here. Gets the ball on his left foot, delivers it towards the back of the six-yard box, and that goes out for a strong. yeah. Cardiff are managed by Nilton Teroso, is their uh, under-20 development manager. Yes. No, no, he played at Sports. You have a history? Yeah, he played at Sporting, uh, youth and reserve level. Oh. There you go. Okay, okay. Research. Oh. Right. As Cardiff now try and build down this left-hand side, uh, Tommy O'Sullivan, ball out to Kane Owen, and Kane Owen comes inside, beats Joe Gomez, and that's, that's a nice, nice ball in. And uh, Obelay sniffed the, sniffed the danger out, and Terrell Thomas... Let the ball bounce off of his chest into the arms of Nicky Pope, but uh, danger snuffed out. But that was a good little move from Cardiff. Mikhail Kennedy has not seen much of the ball yet. Kane Owen wins, robs him of the ball down this left hand side, and a little shove in the yeah, back of uh, Macaulay Southam, right in front of the referee. And yeah. uh, Cardiff have a free kick. I haven't seen much of this lad, Kennedy, uh, Mikhail Kennedy. He's, he's not bad. Um, I don't know what his natural, I'm not sure if the up front is his natural position. Yeah. Uh, Looks more like maybe a midfielder. He's a fault. Yeah, yeah I think he's a, a midfielder. I think I'll oh, do fault. some, yeah. have a little look. Ball in, and Nicky Pope will just. Seems a bit unfair, the advantage Nicky Pope has in that area, yeah. doesn't he? He doesn't have to leap that much. 
No, Kennedy doesn't seem the biggest of, uh, of lads. So, uh, he's a midfielder of, by trade, Mikhail oh, Kennedy. So yes. he's playing up front today. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I think that's something that a lot of clubs do with young players. They exactly. play yeah, them in different this, positions. Exactly, that's what these games are all about, Peter, isn't it? To see, uh, Gomez, centre back normally. Out. But in the first team, he's been appearing as a right back. And Cumberbatch plays the ball out to Muldoon. That's a ball for uh, Lennon to get after. Yes. And Lennon gets and That's a good looking ball. And it comes off of uh, Tyler Roach and goes out for a, a Charlton throw on that far side. Still 1 0. Heaven knows how, because there's been a couple of chances at each end. And Jack Munns getting busy there on Muldoon. Had to stretch for that. Did well under pressure from Etienne Velikonia. And now. Uh, Abelay brings it out to Gomez. Gomez. Gomez comes inside and just plays it calmly back to Muldoon. Cool as a cucumber, Gomez. Uh, Terrell Thomas launches forward now. Zach Hansen, nice ball from Zach Hansen for Joe Arden. Oh. He fires a shot oh, and that's yes. the second, oh. second goal. That was a beauty. <laughs> Left footed <laughs> and Charlton are 2 new up. Did that curl in, please? Uh, must, uh, Sorry? Did it curl in? Yeah, yeah, he definitely it curled. He had a bit, a bit of curl on it. Uh, superb. Stuff from Charlton. 2 0 up and Harry Gerrard. 33. 33 minutes gone. And Harry Gerrard gets his second of the game. He's on hat trick now. This is a penalty. Because the goalkeeper was just left there standing and watching in awe. I think he did. Definitely had a curl in it. And, and the keeper, Charlie Halton, just didn't, didn't really get anywhere near that. Just right. watched it. As he said, it, it curled in. And the ball goes out. Tyler Roche, he's not happy. But the referee's assistant gives Charlton the throw in. 2 0 up now. The fans watching on YouTube seem to enjoy that strike from Harry Gerrard. And the uh, referee's very fussy about where he's had these, these uh, throw ins taken from. Yep. Look at that. Wants it from the halfway line. No, <laughs> near enough. Yeah. Yeah. I go back, back to the back. halfway line. Well, he's yeah. about two yards from where he took it. <laughs> Sometimes I can get too fussy. Jack Munns with a solid challenge on the Tommy O'Sullivan. The ball ricochets off O'Sullivan and goes out for a Charlton throw. Long throw from Lennon and Kennedy wins it. Zach Hanser. Munns looks spots the runner Joe Gomez on his far right hand side. Can Gomez get to it? He's got a job oh, on. Okay. He got his foot to it, and he put it out um, in the end for a goal kick. But uh, he really had to stretch for that one. Charlie Houghton will take this. You can hear Nicky Pope talking to his defenders. To our left hand side, it's the advantage of uh, an under 21 game. That's a sliced, <laughs> sliced, sliced one, and Muldoon misses out on the header to Macaulay Southam. And that's a clip, chip through, and uh, Tyler Roach, well dealt with by uh, Lennon, very calm, a nice touch from football. And Joe Gomez left Zach Answer a bit too much to do, and Anthony Bell will come forward with the ball, the ball into the box, looking for uh, the number seven, Tyler Roach. But it's not away yet, and it's Tommy O'Sullivan, the skipper, plays it out to the right-hand side to Barnum Bob, coming in, ball into the area, and that goes over the back. And, uh, well, that was a poor effort from uh, Anthony Bell. Try and maybe wanted to try and hook it back into the, one of the players in the area, but uh, he didn't get much up with that, did he? No, he didn't. He was stretching a little bit. He was running out of, um, running out of uh, pitch there, because it was right on the touchline. So all he could do was help it back to Pope. Ball out to the left hand side for Mikhail Kennedy to chase <coughs> and uh, Amanda Ryan, Uruguayan under 21, under 20 player, lets that go out. Both goals today, seventh minute and the 33rd minute from Harry Gerrard. There's Charlton are, are on top here. Cumberbatch to Joe Gomez, crosses that halfway line, plays it back to Jack Munns and Munns turns, Muldoon. Simple ball back to Obelay and Charlton. We'll just play some possession football. 
and let uh, Cardiff chase, try and close them down. They're not closing them down across the back four, but now uh, Velikonya decides to... And he's, he's asking why is nobody else closing down. He's not happy. Munns has it. Munns has spotted Muldoon in a bit of space, but Muldoon... Well, we've got a two-goal lead, so it's up to Cardiff yep. to come and ask some questions. It is. Yeah. Terrell Thomas, good run in Gerard. Oh, 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 and good ball for, through from Gerard and uh, Kennedy... Midfielder playing up front. Um, didn't quite anticipate that one. And Cardiff will try and build on that right hand side. Uruguayan centre back plays that to the skipper, Tommy O'Sullivan. They exchange passes, and O'Sullivan's got it again. He'll be closed down by Answer. And that's a long ball out to the left hand side to uh, Anthony Bell. Bell gets it under control, but Gomez just steps in front of him, shows a bit of experience. Oh, he lost out there, Gomez, but he comes away with the ball. And there's a bit of shirt pulling going on. The referee's there. Good clearance by uh, Gomez, but only as far as O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan looks up. He's got Kane Owen on his left-hand side. It's back with O'Sullivan. He's telling them players where he wants it. It's played in the middle, and Obelay wins it first time. Has to win it again. And Munns will get that under control on the edge of the area. And it's a simple ball out to Lennon. And Charlton have relieved the danger. And the ball forward for Zach Anser. And Amanda Rayan. Under pressure from Zach Anser, plays it up to Brian and Bob and Roach, robbed by Gerard, who's doing some good work. But Kennedy, Kennedy to Gerard, and that's a oh. ball through looking for Kennedy, and the keeper dives at Kennedy's feet, and that could be a oh. corner. Yes. And, the, and I think the keeper's taken a knock. And uh, the physio, the Cardiff physio has been well worked. He's been on two or three times in this, this first half, hasn't he? He has, yes. So it's well done, Kennedy there. Closed, yep. uh, ran the keeper down. Yeah. And again, the patient build-ups, a nice little uh, touch-and-go football. A couple of one-twos worked. Most under-21 games usually played at, uh, at, at the training ground at Sparrows. I think they have to play three at the Valley, I think three it is. Three up to four now. Is it up to four now? Four. So uh, this is a second of the under-21 games here at the Valley. Uh, we, had a, we, we streamed the last previous game here. Like, uh, we've had one game here already, so there, there might be a couple more games before the end of the season. And then, as you said, Peter, we've got that cup game at uh, Parkview Road. Uh, Parkview Road on the 26th of November, 7pm uh, kickoff, under-21 cup. So most of these players will be involved against yep. Brighton. In the last round, they beat Wimbledon comfortably 4-0. Um, and, of course, there will, be, there will be the FA Youth Cup, which I believe will tie will be played here at the Valley. I think it's Cardiff City in that it's one. It's and that will be here at the Valley. A uh, date to be announced to look out for that one. Well, hopefully we'll cover that as the corner comes in. Munns plays, plays it in. I thought the keeper didn't shout for that, did he? As Gerard had an air shot there looking for that hat-trick. And ball out to Jack Munns who slips at the wrong moment. But Munns will get this under control, under pressure from Anthony Bell. And he puts the ball out. Good, well, good defending from Anthony Bell. Uh, Munns had to control it and Bell just waited his time then tried to nip in. And again, the ref thought it was going to stop playing, get him to take that again. Dave. Barn and Bob down the line for Valion. Valiconia, who controls it, but Cardiff lose the ball. And Charlton are quite, Charlton look reasonably comfortable now with his two goal leaders. They should be confident. Yes. Two goal lead, and it's Cardiff have got to do the running, and yes. Charlton can. Playing a similar style of play that the first team would do, as, yeah. you, as you expect them to do. You know, Good header from Kennedy, won that. Patient build ups. Lots of touches. O'Sullivan down the line, and uh, Tyler Roach has come onto this left-hand side, being chased down by Joe Gomez. Tyler Roach has been uh, held up by Gomez, and Muldoon swoops in, and that's good football from Muldoon, Charlton. Good yeah. defending from Gomez, good work from Muldoon, and Cumberbatch has it under a bit of pressure from the central defender who throws a clump of mud at him. <laughs> and he loses out in the end, Joe Gomez. Look at that, great challenge. from. Yeah, he's got the ball there. Yes, but... He Went in with his foot. Uh, the stats weren't showing, but he no. sort of like went in with his foot. Uh. And uh, I think that's going to be our first booking yes, of the game. Is, Joe yes. Gomez uh, gets a yellow. And, uh, in a little bit. You've got, the, you've got the stopwatch working there. Long we've had 41 40, minutes. Yeah, we're into 42. 40, we're in the 42nd minute. Half time looms. You can go off if you're at home, put the kettle on. If you're at work, you can do some work. I know there's one or two of you who are at work watching this on YouTube. Well, we're at work, Peter. <laughs> well, yeah, this is... Joe, Joe Gomez gets that yellow card. 
so yeah, teas and coffees all round at half time, I think. It's, uh, it's not a chilly day, it's just overcast here. As uh, O'Sullivan plays that high into the box, and well, that unfair advantage that Nicky Pope has. You're going to put a high ball in there. They haven't got anyone that particularly tall. The central defenders aren't the biggest in the world. No. I've had, I mean, Usher Large is the tallest of their central defend, defender, of their, their tallest of their players. And you put a long ball in. Nicky Pope's going to gobble that those up all the time. And Ozzy Large just slips at the wrong moment. Gerard, good ball in, firm ball into Jack Munns, who's, who's uh, clattered about. Yeah, just and he was a little bit behind play there, and he's just caught a player. And, oh, no, hang on. and I think That's he's getting a yellow card. He's, he's putting a couple of changes, and the referee's saying one there, one over there. I think, I think it's, a it's a final warning for uh, oh, yes. Jack Munns. Again, I don't think it was intentional. No, I don't think it was nasty. I think he was just a, you know, there was a challenge on him and yeah, he, he it slowed him something. down a little bit and he was just still trying to get desperately get the ball, lunge for the ball and just got the player as uh, Kane Owen who's seen quite a lot of the ball on this left-hand side. Plays it inside and O'Sullivan. Do you know, I think it's uh, that's that, that oh. oh, there's a strong challenge by... Uh, Gerard, and that's a free kick. And Charlton are not afraid to make their challenges, are they, Keith? No, no, it's uh, don't be intimidated. But they, they do look, we do look the stronger side. I must admit. So. <laughs> Watching at work, who would do such a thing? My brother's not doing anything. I notice on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, Ollie Muldoon yeah. comes away with the ball. And uh, he's got Zach Anser, and he just runs into Zach Anser, and Anser's on the yeah. floor. I don't know what Anser was doing there, and, and now um, Southam can play it back, and Cardiff trying to get back into this goal game, 2 nils down. Two goals from Harry Joe, I chip ball for Barnum Bob, and well dealt with by Jack Munns. Uh, we quite like as a player, don't we? We do, yeah, it's lovely. Great player, isn't he? Good little good, player. Gives us all, all and more besides. And uh, Amanda Ryan loses out there, the Uruguayan under 20. Oh. And that's a loose ball from uh, Harry Joward, and the referee spotted something. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what it was, but the referee's seen something. Okay. Ooh. And Nicky Pope, the tall <coughs> keep reserve, uh, a second choice keeper, had a good loan spell at York City last season, did, yes. almost made it to the playoffs. Uh, I think it was something like 15 or 16 um, clean sheets for them in that running. That's right. Yes. And they absolutely loved to him to up the there. Playoffs, didn't they? Yeah, he was. Uh, he, he was they on, didn't want to lose him. They he was on 1905 uh, a couple of weeks ago with Ben Roberts, and uh, correcting the stats about how many clean sheets he kept up there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Had a good time, mate. They absolutely loved him. Decent goalkeeper. And uh, as Cardiff now break on this left-hand side, and that's uh, Tyler Roach, the Bridge End lad. And it goes well dealt with by Gomez and a slice clearance from uh, Nicky Pope. I think he's got Bobby Boulder's brilliant bendy boots on there. And we are into injury time. Injury time it is. And uh, Kane Owen, can Cardiff get back into this game? They had the one chance and the uh, experience of Valley Konya loses out and Nicky Pope will time to tee this up and Valley Konya gives up the chase. And that's a ball up towards Zach Anser and uh, Osilaja under pressure from Mikhail Kennedy. Uh, midfielder playing up front today. And that's a loose ball out under pressure. And Charlton have a throw on that far side. And we shouldn't have too long now. Before half time. And Harry Lennon. He's got Jack Munns very close, but he's probably going for Zach Anser moving and, and, Harry and, and the goal scorer, Joe Hyde, but it's Kennedy. He doesn't quite get on the end of it. And the number four, Ozzy Larger, puts that about ten rows back in the East Stand, which is empty this afternoon. We do have Charlton fans down on the uh, lower west below us. Not too many, though. And they're very quiet, Keith. Mm. Well, it's, uh, it would be, uh, yes, those uh, prefer a bit of atmosphere. Um, <laughs> part, part for you, road for the League Cup tie against... Uh, 
Brighton. Brighton. Now that's what recommended. Yeah, just get get down that get down after that for that game. It'll be uh, 26th of November, seven o'clock kickoff. As this first half winds down, two 0 to Charlton. Uh, long ball forward. Two goals from Harry Gerrard in the seventh minute and the 33rd minute. It was some good football by Charlton. Uh, Cardiff had their chances. Had their chance. An outstanding chance, which was put over the bar. Uh, so it's 2-0 as we approach half-time. The referees looked at the watch. And progressing down that left-hand side, Zach Anser loses out on this occasion to the Uruguayan Aman Darian. He's not impressed with that. He thinks he should have got the throw-in. But um, Barnum Bob plays it down the line. There goes the half-time whistle. Uh, Keith... Sum up that first half for yeah, us. Very pleasant on the eye. Very yeah. pleasant on the <laughs> eye. Two goals from Harry Gerrard in the seventh minute and 33rd minute of the difference between the two sides. It's Charlton 2, Cardiff 0.
Welcome back to the Valley for the second half of Charlton versus uh, Cardiff City in the PDL 2, League Division 2. Uh, Charlton 2 up in the first half. Uh, two goals from Harry Gerrard, one in the seventh minute and the 33rd minute. I'll give you the teams. Uh, Charlton lineup number one, Nick Pope. Number two, Joe Gomez. Three, Harry Lennon. Four, Oliver Muldoon. Five, Ayo Obele. Six, Terrell Thomas. Seven is Jack Munns. Eight, Curtis Cumberbatch. Number nine, Zach Anser. Number 10, Harry Gerrard. And number 11, Mikhail Kennedy. On the bench for Charlton, 13, Dylan Phillips. 12, Harry Osborne. 14, Cadell Daniel. 15, Rhys Brown. And number 16, Brandon Hanlon. And uh, Cardiff City, line up as follows. In goal, number one, Charlie Horton. Number two, Jazzy Barnum Bob. Barnum Bob. Uh, number three, Kane Owen. Four, Deji Larger. Uh, five, Maximiliano Amanda Rain. Six, Ben Watkins. Seven, ten, Tyler Watt Roach. Eight, Macaulay Southam. Nine, Etienne Velikonia. Uh, ten, Tommy O'Sullivan. And eleven is Anthony Bell. On the bench for Cardiff City, Ben Wilson is a goalkeeping substitute. Number twelve, Curtis Watkins. Fourteen, Brad Wickham. Fifteen, David Tatunda. And 16, it's uh, listed as Jay Bowen, but he isn't, isn't on the bench. It's now Elliot Newby, who's a trialist for Cardiff City, the only trialist on show this afternoon. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome along. And uh, Cardiff will, need to, will be looking uh, to, to get straight back in into this and get a goal back. They had that chance in the, um, in the, uh, in the first the half, first didn't half, they? Yes. Which, uh, I think it was something earlier to, uh, easier to put it, put it in than yeah. put it over. Yeah, it was a barnstorming run from the, from the, the, the centre-back, Deji Azalaja, who played a 1-2 in midfield and continued his run and uh, got to the byline, delivered the ball beautifully for the Cardiff forward, who managed to scoop it over, over the, the bar. Pot, indeed, yes. That's uh, Harry Gerrard's goal. Good football, weren't they, for Gerrard's goals? Yeah, lovely, yes. Like, no, nice, patient uh, build-ups and... A, uh, very uh, deadly finish from a very acute angle. OK, so 2-0 here. We're waiting for the second half to start. Zach Hanser's on the ball with uh, Mikhail Kennedy. A midfielder, Mikhail Kennedy. Uh, starting up front today alongside Zach Hanser. Uh, good experience for him, I expect. And Skipper Muldoon's close, at, close by as well, and the game is underway. Second half, live here at the Valley. Nicky Pope with a long clearance for Zach Hanser to chase after. And uh, Ozzy Larger will have to get ahead that under pressure from Kennedy, who's storming after him. And Ozzy got it away. Barn and Bob challenged by Munns and Charlton. Gerard wins the ball, and that's a sperm challenge from Ozzy Larger. And he's getting a yellow card, and there's some pushing and shoving in Muldoon. Need to get these play two players away. And uh, it's all bowling over. So there's a lot of pushing and shoving, really, which is pretty big. Handbags. Yes, handbags. Handbags yes, down yes. there. But Ozzy Larger has got the booking, and I think Muldoon could find himself in a little bit of trouble for, um, for voicing his disapproval. For voicing his disapproval, I think it's <laughs> it. <laughs> and the referee has got that yellow card. He's having a, a serious word with uh, Ozzy Larger. And he's... Not happy, Ozzy Larger. I think he's skipping here to come over and maybe have a word. Well, it was it's a hard challenge. Was, had, um, was it that dirty? I don't know. Was it, uh, was it studs up? I couldn't really see from here, to be honest. No, difficult to see in, the, in, our, in our feed. It's solid, certainly solid. A solid challenge. So, he's in the book. And that's Cardiff's first booking of the game, Ozzy Larger. Uh, Charlton got had two bookings. Joe Gomez uh, got a booking earlier on, and I'm trying to see who else got the booking. There was two was bookings. There, was there? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the game will resume. Munns and uh, goal scorer Harry Gerrard stand over the ball. And uh, they'll take the uh, free kick. Zach Hanser lurking around the 18 yard line, being hugged by the players. As the ball comes in, delivered by Munns, right-footed towards the back post. And the keeper, Charlie Horton, had to challenge Obelay there to get that away. And Cardiff can break on the left-hand side. Tyler Roach has it. He's been chased down by Cumberbatch. And Joe Gomez is letting Cumberbatch deal with that. Someone needs to come in. And Co. Gomez just waited and waited. Let Cumberbatch deal with it. Waited and waited. And when the ball came in, Joe Gomez just hit it, sidestepped it away. Good defending from Charlton. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest cross there for no. the Cardiff player. And it, so Joe was able to quite easily just uh, bolt it away. And there comes Ozzy Larger. Comes forward and uh, runs into trouble. 
Zach Hanser has it. Hanser looking for someone at an outlet up front, but uh, Kennedy was being covered and it goes back. That's a good ball from Gomez and puts it in front of Lennon for Lennon to run into. Lennon being closed down now by Anthony Bell and Lennon just runs out of space. You can see Jason Yule, the under-21s manager down there, giving instructions. <coughs> As the ball's played back to Charlie Halton, the American keeper. Plays it out right onto the le far left-hand side. Kane Owen down the line and uh, Joe Gomez will deal with that all day long. Back to Nicky Pope. And Pope swings that right foot. It's a high ball up. And Mikel Kennedy will get after this. He's got two defenders. Can he get there? And it's, oh. Is he pushed out of the way? No, says the referee. Mm, mm, interesting. Into the sandwich there between the two yeah, five, uh, defenders. But, um, okay. <laughs> he hasn't got the build of the uh, other players. So maybe he was just squeezed out of it. Jack, Man Jack Munns wins the ball. Muldoon has it. Simple ball from Muldoon to... Uh, Obelay, Obelay, the central defender, brings it forward. Right-footed down the line, and that's offside against Mikhail Kennedy. Uh, talking of defenders who are happy to bring the ball out. I can tell Ben Haim and, and Andre BK in the first team have done that well. Andre BK is here this afternoon. He's downstairs, just having a cup of coffee at half-time or having a chat with some people. But uh, Charlton's first team defenders are encouraged to play uh, from the back, back. And, and it seems like the under-21s as yes, well. Exactly, yes. I'm sure that's something that they'd want to get. Uh, loose ball from Cardiff. Lennon deals with it. Munns, he's got a couple of players around him. He plays it calmly back to Terrell Thomas, who steps up. Good ball from Thomas into Gerard, the two-goal scorer. Munns steps on the ball, loses his man. Good work from Munns, some nice skill. Cumberbatch, and he's tried to get involved as well. Comes away with the ball. He's got Gomez out on the right, and the ball goes to Gomez. First time ball, possibly. No, he gets his foot in it into the area. Cumberbatch fires a shot, and that's just wide. That's, that's unlucky. That's a, a very unfortunate. Good build-up play from Charlton on the right-hand side. I thought um, J uh, Joe oh, Gomez was going to hit that first right. time, but he took the touch and played it into, uh, into Cumberbatch, who had that shot, and it's yeah. just flashed wide. Uh, he would have probably wanted to work the keeper a little bit more there. But. So the start of that move was Munzi in the middle here. It's absolutely tied up three Cardiff players. Tied them up in knots. Lovely, work, lovely play by Munz. Long ball. From the keeper, Terrell Thomas wins that. Zach Hanser tries to get on the end of it. Kennedy controls it, but it's nipped off of his toes by uh, Ben Watkins. And the ball out now to the left-hand side. And that's uh, Tyler Roche, Roche uh, the bridge end born lad, who uh, in a tussle there on that far side with Joe Gomez. And Gomez has given away a... Is that a throw-in, I think? Yes, it's a throw-in on that far side. And the ball in to the number eight, Macaulay Southam. Ball swung into the area, and Harry Lennon gave a shout, and I don't think he was trying to head it behind for a corner. I think he was trying to head it back over his back over for a throw-in, but uh, mm. he's put the ball out anyway, under a bit of pressure. Yeah, safety first. And Cardiff have uh, have a corner. How many corners have they had now? Uh, two. Uh, two two uh, corners. Two apiece, I believe. Two apiece, is it? That's the voice of Keith Holland, who's uh, doing the stats and working as my summariser on a new ball because the ball boys haven't quite got it sorted. No, we've lost it. We've lost oh, the no. ball. Have we got a spare one? No, we found it again. Have we got it? Yeah, there it is. There's no rush. If they, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pleasant Monday afternoon. There's no need to rush anything, is there? Ball in now to the six-yard area, cleared by Gomez. Uh, Taylor Kane, and he's oh, got hold of Jack Munns. He's all over goal. Jack Munns, yes. and he's going to get a yellow card as well now. Uh, Munns was away from him there, and he's taken one for the team. Very similar <laughs> to uh, what Johnny Jackson did for the first team against Reading on Saturday late in the yes, game. Yes, that had to be, didn't it? Yes. So, it's a free kick to Charlton. Uh, we've had six and a half minutes of the second half here. Still 2-0, goals from Harry Gerrard. Uh, the difference between the two sides. There's Nicky Pope. Lines the ball up and plays it out to, to, to Abelé. Abelé back to Pope, and Pope will hit it first time. Looking for uh, Cumberbatch. Muldoon has it, though. And it's our Gomez on that left-hand side. And uh, Kennedy gets on the ball on the right-hand side. He's got Zach Anter to aim out in the middle. Good ball into Zach Anter on the near post. Joe Gomez fires a shot oh. on the keeper. Charlie Halton has to make a save, and that's Ch this Charlton's third corner of the game coming up. Good stuff down that right-hand side, Keith. Yes, yep, and Gomez went in at, uh, with his effort into the uh, near post, and uh, the keeper done well there. It was quite a bit behind the shot. Done well to parry it away from the corner. 
Well, the sun's threatening to come out here, Peter. It's a very pleasant afternoon. The crowd's about a, about a three figures, just about. Ball into the corner. It's headed clear. Uh, Muldoon and Munns are on the edge of the area, but it's cleared by uh, Cardiff. And Lennon wins the ball. Uh, Muldoon slides in. That's a good shot. It's sliding change from Muldoon. And uh, Harry Joe tried to keep it, and it's gone out for uh, a throw-in. And Cardiff looking to try and get back into this game. 2-0 down. Could have been 3-0 down uh, early in the second half. And uh, the ball over the head of uh, Jazzy Barnum. Bob. And Charlton have the throw. Charlton are looking to get the third goal, goal to put this game beyond Cardiff. Kennedy comes inside on his, and it's cleared by um, Maximiliano, Maximiliano Amondarain. <laughs> Uruguayan. Mikhail Kennedy, good ball forward from Lennon. Lennon looking for Zach Anser, but uh, the central defender, Deji Ozilaja, gets that clear. And, Watford, and Cardiff can build, and how Oli Maldona watched that one out, and Charlton have a throw in. Seeing some of the comments in YouTube, fans quite impressed with the first goal, the build up to Charlton's first goal. Yep. Uh, it was some good football. Yes. He's, uh, Kennedy wants the ball from Lennon, but it's gone to Gerard, the goal scorer. Gerard back to Kennedy, uh, back to Lennon, and uh, that's a oh. poor ball from Terrell Thomas. He's put far too much on that, and it goes out for uh, a throw in to Cardiff. It's Cardiff launch and attack. Kane and uh, Abele hooks that clear. It's high in the air, and Kennedy just comes in and sweeps it up from uh, Tommy O'Sullivan. Ball forward, looking for Zach Anser, but uh, Armand Dorian has it. He plays it to O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan under pressure. Good solid change from Zach Anser, but uh, not enough. And Lennon can now clear up down on this left-hand left side. Good, yeah. good work from uh, from Lennon, but only as far as Ozilaja. And uh, Kane Owen has it. Ball out on this right-hand side, looking for uh, the number eight Macaulay Southam, and it goes out for a goal kick to Charlton. There's Charlton's build up are much more um, positive, I think, than uh, Cardiff. Cardiff is a bit rushed now. They're, I mean, they're two down. They're looking for an early goal back and they're having to push it more. But the passing isn't as accurate as Charlton's. Who have, have got the time on the ball. You know, got the two goal leads, so there's no pressure on us. Yeah, ten minutes gone here. Still 2 0 to Charlton. Goals in the, thir in the seventh and the 33rd minute from Harry Gerrard. Some good football by Charlton. But uh, Cardiff had a chance in the first half, and Charlton have had a chance. And there's surely a push from Mikhail Kennedy right in front of the referee. And uh, the Uruguayan, big Uruguayan central defender is complaining. And the referee's having nothing to do with it. Yes, Muldoon trying his luck, trying to take the free kick 20 yards away from where the offence took place. So the referee's obviously called them back. Charlton take it. And it's out to uh, Abele, he plays it all the way back to Nick Pope. Pope, left-footed, higher ball, up towards Jack Munns, who's never going to win a ball in, in the air, really, against a central defender. <laughs> and uh, now O'Sullivan plays it back to Tyler Roach. Tyler Roach gets in towards the edge of the area, Jack Munns closes him down, ball into the swing shot box, oh, and there's oh. a, a goal, and I think that could be an own goal. It's 2-1, and Cardiff are back in it. Some good work down that right-hand side, Keith. Yeah, we got caught there a bit. Um, I think we got a bit caught up field and or ball watching. And uh, they worked it down the right, Cardiff. A, a low ball into the box. And yes, it came off the centre half, I believe. Yep, it's, is that Terrell Thomas? Yeah, yeah. no, um, Od sorry. Odelay? Odelay. Odelay. I think it came off of him. Long ball forward, and that's easily dealt with by the keeper, Charlie Horton. Horton bowls it out onto this right-hand side, where Barn and Bob closed down by Kennedy. And Barn and Bob will come down the right-hand side to Tyler Roach. And Cardiff, we've got a newfound confidence of Tyler Roach. And Ollie Muldoon slides in there and hits the ball off of, uh, off of, the play, off of uh, Tyler Roach. And uh, it goes out. I'm um, just looking up at uh, Max Javier Amandarian, the uh, central defender for uh, Cardiff. Uh, under 20, he's 21, he's six foot one, and uh, he's been at Cardiff. Before that, he was at National, 
um, Progresso. He's not made a first team appearance yet, but he's made one appearance for the Uruguayan under 20. And he signed for Cardiff in August of 2013. After uh, he's got a f he's got a four-year deal, so they obviously uh, rate him quite highly. Two-one here, an own goal, the equaliser. And we've had 12, 13 minutes of the game. I don't know if Muldoon is going to be able to uh, continue. He's up there, up. Ooh. Ooh. Left leg a bit sore there. And Muldoon comes over to his far side. Yes. He looks to be okay to continue, I think. Yeah. Comes off and the uh, physio said, yep, yeah, he's fit to continue. And uh, Lennon will take this. And uh, he's coming on now. Yep, he's on. He was already on before the ref said. And Charlton have a free kick. 2-1 here. An own goal conceded a couple of moments ago. Cardiff getting back into the game. Munns plays it across to um, Obele, the unfortunate defender that scored the own goal. Well, I'd say scored it. Came off of him. Don't think he. Yes, yeah, uh, nothing he could have done about it. It was just ball was fired across. Terrell Thomas just has the ball into Muldoon. Muldoon to Cumberbatch. Back to Muldoon. Good football, Gerard. First time football, and uh, Amanda Darain was able to clear that. Good oh, work from uh, Terrell Thomas. Appeals for handball from uh, Veliconia, not given. And Jack Munn's in some space and he's got a chance to run at them. Gerard on his left, and he can go on his own right footed and that's hit the defender, uh, Ozzy Larger. Nearly knocked him over, but uh, Cardiff yes. get the ball. He did have players out on the right hand side as well. He had options there, but he went for it. He went for it and it was a pretty good strike. In fact, if the, if the uh, Cardiff player hadn't got in the way, that could well have been on target. Ball out on the right-hand side to uh, Tyler Roach, who's got some time and space, and he's got Barnum Bob on the overlap. Ball in from Barnum Bob to Tyler Roach. Roach will chip this in, and that goes over everyone, but it comes back to Kane Owen and Cardiff. Body on the pressure, oh, okay. and there's the equaliser, and that's Macaulay Southam with the equaliser. It's now Charlton 2, Cardiff 2. On the 15th minute, Macaulay Southam and Charlton, the ball flashed across the six-yard box. Nobody else could get there. The only person that got there was Macaulay Southam. And uh, Charlton have levelled it here. Yes, the left uh, Cardiff had a man over at the far post there, where the back of the box, and he was able to far it hard into the back into the area again. And uh, it just sort of like uh, Southam was just there just to deflect the ball into the net. Yeah. So 2-2, two -two, game on, and it's Cardiff with the confidence now. Yes. And, uh, yes. S substitution. We have Which a substitution, and that's uh, Joe Gomez makes his way off to be replaced by Harry Osborne. Joe Gomez substitute. He's on a yellow card, but I think it's more of a, a question that he's had. Uh, he's had an hour of football, and uh, uh, and he's off to be replaced by um, Harry Osborne. That's in the 61st minute. Yep, pretty much an hour's football for him. Uh, in his first return from, from that, that injury yeah, that's yes. kept him away from the first team squad. Amanda Rain heads that forward. Tyler Roach beats Lennon. Terrell Thomas leaves it and mm. Lennon hits it against the number seven, Tyler Roach. But you can see those two goals have absolutely boosted the confidence of Cardiff. Yep. And uh, they're back in this as far as they're concerned. They're 2-2. They're, two -two. they're going to go look for the winner. Lennon. Plays it inside to Muldoon. Loose ball, though, and Obele leaves it for Terrell Thomas. Thomas hooks it to the right-hand side where uh, Harry Osborne will let that go. We'll try and get it, but he didn't quite make it, and he goes out for throwing on the far side, and it's all Cardiff at the moment. As they look to take the... As they try and... As they come back from a deficit, and they'll look pressure. Tyler Roach has it, and he's going to play this back. Tyler Roach back, and Barnum Bob hooks it clear, high in the air, and Terrell Thomas battling with uh, Belly Conya. And it goes all the way back to Nicky Popehill, high towards the right-hand side. Have the possession again. Anthony Bell tries to keep it on as he managed it. He has just, but there's no one there in front of him. And uh, and it's back with Nicky Pope. So you see some blue skies above us in places. Uh, not a good thing, because that means the temperature drops. Uh, long ball from Jack Martin. Right-hand side for Mikhail Kennedy to chase after. Uh, Ozilaja plays that across to his central defender, Sid partner, and Ben Watkins plays it out to his left-hand side. Kane, Owen, 
left, so Zach Hansen would have been away. Here on uh, Tommy O'Sullivan from Cardin is in front of the referee. He's closer than yes. Cardiff from the front. And uh, Ozil Larger uh, up towards Anthony Bell. Close to uh, Cardiff looking to build from the back. This right hand side. And uh, Barnum Bob has it. Barnum comes inside. He's in the centre of the midfield. The ball goes out for who didn't. A bit too much on the ball. Let's try and rebuild their half time. You can creep in a bit of complacency there. Near half done, but of course they, most people disappear very quickly. The gas and yeah. this was, and obviously fired up. There, so uh, twice in three. Uh, Kane Owen, who's ch chased down by Jack Munns, left hand on the left hand side for Cardiff, and that's a good switch ball across. He has to go inside, and uh, left hand side. Owen will try and is. Number flattered into the player. The referee was going to try and play the advantage, but he did it just uh, thought it was an honest challenge. Long ball for and uh, they can build in the midfield now. Tatunda, well, plays it's out on the right hand. Roach, Tyler Roach gets to, got some wide. And Bob, Barn and Bob at the byline gets it back in, and Terrell Thomas had to get on the end. Oh. There's a shot, and oh. there's the and it's 3 2. Cardiff. Well, it's the two, it's the right. <sighs> the number eight got the touch on it. Cardiff, well, they, 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 I mean, 2 0 down at half time, whatever the Toroso said at half time seems to. Yes, yeah, so that was a crisp goal, I must say, for Cardiff there. It was a strong run down the right, lovely. <laughs> and a good finish. Found Very the good finish. Very good finish. Pope is despairing dive. Pope's furious with his defence. For, for that, Zach Anser under a bit of pressure plays it back to Ger to Le Muldoon. Muldoon loses out in the midfield. And Cardiff, I've just been watching the goal. Yeah. Cardiff 2 0 up at half time. Charlton's find themselves 3 0 down. Uh, and we have uh, on the clock five minutes, we've got 20 minutes to go behind here. And uh, in fact, I think there's a substitute. Uh, Harry Lennon has the ball. Lennon's got Kennedy in front of him. Kennedy, the ball up to Kennedy, shields it from the, this big central line. He's going to try and buy a goal, a throw in or something, but uh, it's won and it's cleared by um, Chuck. With uh, Jack Munns and Muldoon was in acres of space. He's still there in the box. The ball in now and the keeper stretches. So, Jason Newell's questioning something from the ref at the team. Two no up at one stage. Two down. Long ball over the top for uh, Macaulay Southam to chase after there. And hicks it up towards Zach Anser. Play a first time ball. Looking for Kennedy. Kennedy too far away. And uh, Cardiff. It's now Cardiff that can play the football. It's Charlton that have got to do the chasing. And the ball played down the left hand side. Who looks a decent player. Back to Ozzy Larger. Ozzy Larger. Now yeah. they're trying to. Iman and Cadell Daniel are both being readied down here in front. A bit of pressure. Has to play it back. Pope hits it first time. I think he had time to take a touch, but he didn't. Barn and Bob will. And I think we're going to see a change soon. Two changes soon. I think uh, going off. And a battle in mid. Um, we're going to make our. Here we go. Substitutes coming any second. Well, we've uh, unfortunately we discipline a bit. We've uh, we've got Mikel Kennedy is being replaced, and Harry Gerrard both come off, mm -hmm. and they they are replaced by uh, ha by um, Cadell Daniel and Brandon Hanlon. Um, oh, left. Left out with by Terrell Thomas. He's got Obalai out on the right, and Obalai brings the ball. And that's a slice ball from Obalai out towards Harry Osborne and Todd Kane, Kate Owen down. It's quite breezy here. Uh, now in this passing, oh, shower. passing shower. Yeah, because there's some clear skies over the back of the south stand heading our way. There's the ball. And the Charlton midfield has, uh, has not worked in the second half at all, no, has it, really? No. Ball out to this left-hand side where Brandon Hanlon 
Well, chips the ball in towards oh, the back. Cumber Bo oh. From Cumberbatch, and it's hit the crossbar. Sorry, that was Cadell Daniel. And bounce down. That should have been the equaliser. Oh. City. Other character from the... Yeah, Jack Munns nips in and charges. Uh, and he just bowls it out to Ozil who was booked in the first half. Ozil out to Amanda Arian. And now... Uh, there's no way that the back line looks so tight in the first. Konya. Yeah, they, they don't look that happy. First goal gave them the confidence. Down goal gave them a lot of confidence. And Cadell Daniel hits that first time. I think he was going. Because <laughs> the keeper was. Yes. And unfortunately for Charlton, that was. For Cardiff. Accuracy and Cardiff are able to clear that up. Uh, still out to Cadell to Cumberbatch. And Cumberbatch is being hauled back, back there. Well, that should be a booking. That yeah. should be a booking should without be. a shadow of a doubt. Whether or not the referee gives it, word, he's going to have a chat, is he? And the player goes down as if to say, it'll be Munns to curl it into the box, and then away. Swing up and steps over. Dan, all in, and there's Charlton players there. And uh, attacked on his punch. I'm about to show some of that skill again. To first time yeah. shot from Molly Mold scoreline and uh, Cardiff player to see a yellow card today chasing the game and Nick Pope stands over the ball well, if we're going to make another last substitution and uh, number 16 uh, Elliot Newburn there we've had the physio on a few times so we might have four or five minutes injury he's on again now so the players getting treated belly Conya. Really created much this half. Not at all, really. No. Lost the midfield. Lost that, yeah. That's. Uh, it's over. In the first minute up, and he's going to go out to the right hand side. But that, and it goes out disappointingly. And there's some. Uh, it goes out left to Tunda, and it's out to uh, Kane Owen, and that's his flag. And there he goes, being patrolled by uh, Harry Osborne. Jack Munns is there to help, and Charles. Oh, and they need to get this ball forward. Took a 2 0 lead in the first half and 3 2 down they are. Cardiff will be over the moon. This uh, ball hooked forward. Tom, well, is that Keith? Disappointing. Yes, after that uh, first half, Peter, when we looked so confident and played such lovely football. Uh, for a launch, no. Work it forward. Uh, all the options are up towards number. Obele heads it over his head. Oh, and Cardiff trying to stop them. Cadell Daniel dances around that left hand side. Ball Daniel and it goes out. And the number 14, Brad Wickham, puts it out for a throw. And uh, can't be that long throw towards Terrell Thomas is up there. Surely he's not. No, the referee still happy for game to go on. He's got Alex Ferguson's watch, I think, hasn't he? <laughs> As uh, Nicky Pope's going to launch this. There's mu ten, nine players in and that comes away. And the referee checks. <laughs> Launched forward by... Uh, to this left down, clutching his head, and I think he's just landed all that will come on. And he'll get some treat. 3 2 is the score here. And we're into the sixth minute of time, I think. Yeah, well, yes. fifth minute of stoppage time. More to go before this referee blows his whistle. Muldoon. Yeah, being treated for cramp as well. He's down there on the floor. He seems to be okay. He'll have to go and come back on again. Have to come back on again. Who knows? Yeah, Keith. No, I was just uh, having a chat. I was just telling them. Fifty-one. And Cardiff. And it's Cardiff. Two 0 at half time. Charlton were leading. Goal two. And once they got that first goal, you could see their confidence was up, yep. and they've uh, they've used that to their full advantage. Final score here: Charlton two, Cardiff City three.